Hey there, and welcome to another creative video from Wondershare Dr. Phone. I'm Francisco, and today in this video, we're going to discuss how to downgrade your iOS 17 device to iOS 16 version with the help of some simple methods. Moreover, in this video, we will also explore some interesting tools which can be helpful in downgrading your iOS version. So besides this, the steps to create a backup of your, of your iPhone will be highlighted so that the essential data of users stay safe no matter what. So before we start talking about all of these amazing things, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive new video updates in the future. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1 and method number 1, using iTunes. The first method that we can follow to downgrade any iOS version is with the help of iTunes. As the name states, this tool is used by several iPhone users as their music manager. But this tool is more capable than this. You can easily downgrade your iOS version from 17 to 16 using this tool. So to start the downgrading process, let's focus on some necessary preparations first. Preparations before downgrading iPhone. These preparations include one of the main things, which is creating a backup of your iOS device with the help of iTunes. This way you can save your precious data before downgrading it and using it on other versions. To understand how the downgrading process works, take a look at these simple steps. Connect your iOS device to your computer using an original USB data cable and ensure that the latest version of iTunes is launched on your computer. Afterward, head towards the device option on the top toolbar and then click on it. This step will take you to a new screen where you have to click the summary tab. After this, a list of different settings will appear where you will be able to find the backup section. From this section, enable the this computer option and press the backup now button to start the backup process of iOS 17 data on your computer. Here you can also set a password to your backup by check marking the encrypt local backup option. Next, we'll be downgrading iOS 17 to 16 with the help of iTunes. Once you have successfully created the iPhone backup, you will need to install the IPSW file of iOS 16 to proceed with the downgrade process. You will have to follow the steps that we will discuss further right now. In this step, you need to open the IPSW.me website on your computer's browser. Following this, you will see different options from which you select your iPhone model and the iOS version that you want to restore. After selecting the version, a new page will open with all of the required details. From this page, click on the download button and your IPSW file will start downloading. When the file download is complete, turn off the Find My iPhone feature of your iOS device. To do this, just head towards your iPhone settings and select the Apple ID settings where you can navigate to the Find My option. Open the settings and then just go ahead and turn off the Find My iPhone feature using the toggle option. You might need to actually just go ahead and enter the passcode of your iOS device for successful execution. After this process, go ahead and move toward the iTunes Summary tab. Click on it and then you will find the Restore iPhone option, which you need to tap to start the process. But before we go ahead and tap on it, just hold the Shift key on Windows or the Option key on Mac and then click the Restore iPhone button. Then you will have to select the IPSW file that was downloaded in the previous steps from the pop-up window. Select and open the IPSW file to downgrade your iOS version from iOS 17 to 16 by clicking on the restore slash open button. Doing this will help you to downgrade your iOS version in a few moments. Next, we'll be restoring backed up data from iOS 17. Now that your iPhone is downgraded to your desired iOS version, it is time that we recover the backed up data on your latest iOS version. To do this, launch your restored iPhone and then remember one thing, the backup was created in iOS 17 so it won't be supported directly by iOS 16. Therefore, we will need to make some changes in this in order to make sure that the backup data is restored successfully. For this purpose, just follow these steps which will help you to restore the iOS 17 backup on your iOS 16 device. Head toward your computer or MacBook and then look for the backup that was created on it. For this, you can take help from the iTunes Manage Backups feature and access the info.plist documents from the folder. This document is a complete code document. Therefore, to find the product version in it, you will need to use the Control plus F or Command plus F shortcut keys. Once it is located, just change the string value from 17.0 to 16.0, just a line below this code. After this, save your document, unplug and replug your iOS device, and return to iTunes. 
Once the window is refreshed, hit the restore backup button and select the respective backup. Press the restore option and your previous iOS version data will be backed up on your latest iOS version. Now here are going to be some possible issues and troubleshooting tips. Following these steps, you can easily downgrade your iOS version, but in case you face any issues, you should probably be aware of it so that you can easily resolve it. For this purpose, let's go ahead and check out some of the common issues that can occur while you're downgrading your iOS device. Number 1. Corrupt IPSW File One of the most common issues that can arise is the risk of viruses or malware that can be caused due to not downloading the signed IPSW file. Therefore, it is necessary that you download the signed IPSW file to avoid such issues. Number 2. Faulty USB Wire to keep your downgrading process smooth and simple, just confirm that the USB cable that is being used for the connection of the iPhone doesn't have any problems. Because if it is damaged or not working properly, then you can face issues in managing the process smoothly, or at least as smoothly as you can. iTunes not being updated. Now, furthermore, as mentioned in the video, it is necessary that you have the latest version of iTunes. This is because sometimes, some features are not really present in the older version, which is required for the downgrading process. Due to this, not using the latest version can actually cause you some problems to downgrade your iOS version. iPhone not charged iPhone downgrading process can sometimes take more time than usual, so make sure that your phone is fully charged so that it won't get turned off during the process. Otherwise, this can be a huge problem if your iPhone gets turned off in the middle of the process. Don't disconnect your phone abruptly. Try to avoid any disturbance such as sudden disconnections of the iPhone from your computer while it is being restored. This can damage your device and stop the downgrading process entirely as well. Thus, try not to disturb the device once the process is started. Part 2 and method number 2, using recovery mode. Moving on, let's explore the second method that you can use to downgrade your device. In this method, you can downgrade your iOS device with the help of recovery mode. To follow this method, check out these simple steps coming right up. Let's begin the downgrading process of your iOS 17 to iOS 16 version by connecting your device to your computer with the help of an official Apple USB data cable. Put your device in recovery mode by following the steps, which start with pressing the volume up button, and then you would go down to the volume down button, and then press and hold the sleep wake button until you see the Apple logo show up or the recovery mode logo showing up. So then that's when you would let go of that button. Once it is done, the screen will appear in your computer with the restore option. Here, tap on the restore and update button. The restoration process will start, and in a few moments, your device will be restored to iOS 16. After this, you can follow the previous backup restore steps to restore the backup of iOS 17 on your iOS 16 version device. Part 3 and method number 3, using third-party tools. In case you would like to explore some more options to restore your iPhone to iOS 16 version, third-party tools can be a good option. These tools can help you perform the downgrading process of your iOS version in a more controlled environment. Therefore, we would recommend that you use the Wondershare Doctor Phone to downgrade your iOS 17 to iOS 16 without any problems. This tool is especially designed to help its users solve iPhone problems in quick and easy steps. Moreover, this tool has the ability to resolve more than 150 iOS issues, which includes screen blackout, Apple logo stuck issues, and much more. Steps to downgrade iOS 17 to iOS 16 using Wondershare Doctor Phone are coming right up. Now that you have understood what Wondershare Doctor Phone is and what magic it can do, let's dive straight into the steps that you need to follow to restore your iOS 17 to iOS 16 device. The first thing that you want to make sure to do is that you launch Wondershare Doctor Phone on your computer and attach your iOS device with it using the lightning cable. After this, access the Toolbox tab and then go ahead and click on the System Repair option in order to start the process. A new window will appear where you need to define the nature of the device that we are downgrading. Following this, select the iOS Upgrade slash Downgrade option in the new window, which will take you to the Downgrade iOS option. By clicking on this option, you will receive a pop-up that will ask you to back up your device if required. After this, just go ahead and click on the continue button, and in the next window, you will be able to see a list of different firmwares to which you can downgrade your iOS device. Tap on the download button for the respective firmware that you want to download. This will start the process, and the iOS 
firmware version will be downloaded to your device. After this, verification will be done by Dr. Phone, following which you can click the Repair Now button to start the process and successfully downgrade your iOS 17 device to iOS 16. Bonus! How to upgrade iOS 16 to iOS 17 easily. Now that you have understood how you can downgrade your iOS version, let's dive into the upgrading process of the iOS 16 to iOS 17 version. This is also important because we understand that being an iPhone user, you might have concerns about the latest version. Therefore, to enjoy the perks of the new version, let's go ahead and follow these steps coming right up. Open the settings app of your iOS device and then go ahead and, and hit on the general settings to access the respective settings. There, tap on the software update option, which will take you to a new screen. On this window, the iPhone will automatically detect any new updates that are available. Once it detects a new version, it will be shown on the screen, after which you can tap on the download and install option to upgrade your iOS 16 to iOS 17. And with this, our video for today has come to an end, and we hope that you have enjoyed this video thus far. Using these different methods, you can easily downgrade and upgrade your iOS device without any issues. For more videos just like this, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates from our channel. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos on iOS 17 problems. Now, until next time, have a good one.